In this video, we'll be taking a look at three MLB games happening on July 29, 2023, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games. So two picks for each game, six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three MLB games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive sports picks to take your journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best single picks, parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. Boston Red Sox vs. San Francisco Giants The Boston Red Sox will play the San Francisco Giants in Game 2 of their series on Saturday night at Oracle Park in San Francisco, California. Boston won the first game in this series by a score of 3-2 on Friday night. The Red Sox are playing some of their best baseball of the season, while San Francisco has had a rough week and a half. The Red Sox come rolling into San Francisco and somehow seem to be getting stronger by the day. They've been dominating when they win with a 4.7 average margin of victory and seven second half wins. It looked like things may head in the other direction after they dropped two to Oakland, but they look excellent against the Braves, arguably the best team in the game right now. San Francisco's two wins entering this series were against Oakland, so those can be brushed off. In their losing streak, they were swept by Washington and even lost a makeup against Detroit. Boston is playing much better than either of those clubs. Haxton has been a big addition to the Sox pitching staff, going out and putting up steady starts each time he hits the mound. The Giants offense hasn't been producing a whole lot and righties are hitting just .171 against Paxton this season. Paxton has been less effective on the road, that much is true, but what else is true is that the Red Sox have been playing the far better baseball and the Giants just don't know which way is up right now. You can beat up on the Oakland A's all you want, but at some point you have to go through tougher teams if you're going to grab a playoff spot, and right now, the Giants just are not doing that for themselves. I think Boston keeps going here once again adds to San Fran's misery, so the Boston Red Sox money line is our full game side pick. These two entered the series having seen a combined 102 of their game land under the respective total. Boston's last three games and four of their last five have gone under thanks to some strong pitching performances. The under has gone 3-1 to one in the Giants' last four and 6-2 to two over their last eight games. Haxton's last start was a nice bounce back from a tough outing prior, proving he was capable of getting right back on track without issue. He has allowed two earned runs in nine of his 12 starts this season. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. Chicago Cubs vs. St. Louis Cardinals The Chicago Cubs have been sticking around all season, especially with the red-hot second half from star outfielder Cody Bellinger, and after starting this series hot, they could find themselves pushing for a National League Central title in 2023. Standing in their way, however, will be the St. Louis Cardinals, who have been solid in recent times. After two very fun games to start this series, wrapping it up on Saturday could be a game that decides the fortune of both these teams, and with two veterans taking the mound, it should be just as competitive. The Cubs have been hot and entered Friday leading the majors in runs per game, team batting average, ops and stolen bases since the All-Star break. Chicago has been rolling along and pushed itself back into playoff contention with less than a week to go before the trade deadline. Talon has pitched better of late after his slow start to the season and has been a beneficiary of some of the Cubs' offensive outbursts. Wainwright may have looked okay in his last start against the Diamondbacks but he still has an earned run average north of 7 and has been lit up on a regular basis this season. Despite winning the first game of this series and being much better in 2023, the Cubs come into this one as an underdog, and at plus 105, they are fantastic money, especially with the advantage on the mound and through their lineups. In the past 10 games, the Cubs have come away with a 6-4 record, including a 4-0 record against St. Louis this season, and after outscoring them 31-21 over that time, and with the playoffs right in sight, this is their chance to make a big push. With the Cubs' bats on fire, you have to give them the upper hand in this contest as they put this one in the win column. So the Chicago Cubs money line is our full game side pick.
Chicago has seen the over post a 54-44-4 mark on the season entering Friday's action. The Cubs are tied for 7th in the majors entering Sunday as they average 4.96 runs per game this season, though that falls slightly to 4.82 runs per game on the road. Chicago has seen an average total of 9.38 runs per game on the year, which falls slightly to an average of 9.13 runs per game away from Wrigley Field. St. Louis has seen the over post a 52-47-5 mark entering Friday action. The Cardinals are 11th in run production as they put up an average of 4.78 runs per contest, which climbs to a robust 5.32 runs per game at home. St. Louis has an average total of 9.8 runs per game overall on the year and that rockets up to 10.7 runs per game at Busch Stadium. While Game 2 of this series was a low-scoring one, this is a rivalry that's historically featured plenty of offensive outbursts, and with the over sitting at 4-3-3 in their past 10 head-to-head -head battles, this one should be just as fun. For the Cubs, the over sits at 7 to 1 to 2 in their past 10 games, and for the Cardinals, the over is 5 to 3 to 2 in their past 10 games. And with two of the hottest lineups in the National League and two starters with earned run averages combining for over 12 on the season, it should be another high-scoring affair. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. Tampa Bay Rays vs. Houston Astros Two potential playoff teams in the Houston Astros and Tampa Bay Rays will face off on Saturday in the second game of their three-game set in Minute Maid Park. The Rays have fallen off a cliff recently, going 2-8 in their last 10 games and relinquishing their lead in the American League East to the Baltimore Orioles. Nevertheless, Tampa still holds the number one wild card spot in the American League with a 62-43 record. Meanwhile, the Astros are holding down the second wild spot currently with a 58-45 record. They are also only two games back of the Texas Rangers for the division lead. This is going to be a great game between two of the best teams in the American League. The Rays look to pull off the upset, but the Astros have been playing great across the board and look to control this game from the first inning. The Astros, who average 4.7 runs per game, should drive in runs at will with Jordan Alvarez, Kyle Tucker, and the rest of the lineup making hard contact and powering the ball against the Rays pitchers to easily play bass runners. The Astros should limit the Rays lineup with Hunter Brown stepping up and pitching multiple scoreless innings to allow the bullpen to close out the game with a comfortable lead. The Rays have been struggling as of late. Facing an Astros team with a lot of experience and a desire to reclaim the division does not help the Rays out in this case. The Rays are also barely above average away from home on the season. Taj Bradley is arguably the worst starter for the Rays and Hunter Brown has only had one bad month on the year. The Astros should take care of business in this game with a strong performance at home. So the Houston Astros money line is our full game side pick. Both starters have been struggling recently, with Brown and Bradley posting a 6.87 earned run average in the month of July. Tampa still has one of the better offenses in the game and the addition of Diaz from the injured list will certainly boost the lineup productivity. Houston's offense is also nothing to sneeze at, as their talent rivals some of the best in the MLB. I expect to see a dogfight as these games increase in importance as the regular season gets closer to finishing. A home run early could break open the game and put the pressure on the opposition to score some runs. When with these two offenses, it isn't hard to believe they won't respond to the other's progress. The Rays have totaled eight or more runs in three of their last four games, while the Astros have scored 19 runs in their last three games. Both lineups have stepped up this season and they look to drive in runs at will for the first pitch. The Rays, who average 5.19 runs per game, should drive in runs with ease against Hunter Brown who has allowed 11 runs in the last three starts, with Yanni Diaz, Luke Rayleigh, and the rest of the lineup making contact and putting together strong plate appearances. The Astros, who have averaged 5.58 runs per game since the All-Star break, should run up the score against Taj Bradley, who has allowed nine runs in his last three starts, with Jordan Alvarez, Kyle Tucker, Alex Bregman, and the rest of the batting order swinging for the fences and crushing pitches to drive in runs at will. This will be a high-scoring game with both lineups stepping up. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed, subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.